Obsidian is a note-taking app which has gained a lot of popularity recently. Promised to be the ultimate second brain. I used Obsidian now for a couple of days and I'm totally blown away at what it can do. Much better than expected. So in this video we'll explore how good Obsidian is for effortless note-taking, its seven major benefits but also two drawbacks. And with a final conclusion in the end whether Obsidian is the best. What really stands out about Obsidian is its linking capabilities because like Rome you're able to simply type two square brackets and then you'll create the link that way and also new notes. So it's super easy to create notes just on the fly just by typing which is really frictionless. And it sort of mimics the brain when it comes to the associative powers that the brain possess. And combined with the graph view, you can say that it's a true second brain. It's also easy to create new notes. Aside from just creating notes when you're typing, you can also just click the button and just start typing as well. And it's also very easy to look back the notes as well thanks to its amazing search. And you can also pin favorites. When it comes to formatting, Obsidian is very big on markdown. So everything, every feature you can do, like for instance, hash tags for headings, and asterisks for boldings, stuff like that. But compared to Rome, instead of just having these bullet points, you have this actual interface to just write whatever you want in a normal way. So for everyone who just loves to write normally and not just research, so that's a very great option. And Obsidian is probably the fastest app I've ever seen. It's so fast, especially on mobile. Whenever you open up, then you're like two seconds in and there was your latest notes. And because it's very local and you have these vaults in which you store your notes and all the files, there are no lags. Unless the device itself is lagging, then it's all about typing in the speed of thought. No need to communicate with servers or anything. I've seen also many short commands and keyboard shortcuts. If you watch this channel for a while, you know that I'm a very big fan of daily notes because you can literally go in there and type everything you have in mind for that particular day. You have this one go-to place. And you can do it in Obsidian too, thanks to plugin in the settings. You can click down there, and then each day you can open up the daily notes and start typing from there. There are also many different themes if you want to customize Obsidian that way too. And as I said before, Obsidian is very local. So if you like being secure and being able to just type whatever private information you have, you can make it the absolute most secure note-taking app ever. It's also very too easy to transfer between note-taking apps because you got all the files. And lastly, compared to Rome Research, Obsidian is free. So anyone can have the benefit of just linking notes at speed of thought and sort of get the associative powers that way. But here comes the drawbacks. I previously mentioned that it was free, but the main drawback is that it's not as accessible. If you have one device, you need to have Obsidian Sync in order to view it from multiple devices. And Obsidian Sync costs like $15 a month. So it's pretty much if you are running multiple devices, like for instance a computer or phone or several phones, then you really need to consider whether you need to access them from one place or multiple places. And there is also no web version for Obsidian either. Obsidian is also not a note-taking app if you want to collaborate with different people because of its local nature and you cannot really access the same note in the same way. But that's not the intention from Obsidian either. So is Obsidian the best app for effortless note-taking? I, I still believe it's very good despite the fact that you can't really access it a lot. Unless you have Obsidian Sync, of course. Why do I believe that? The thing is, you can still use it as a research tool. For instance, when you're walking or doing something else like on the streets etc. You can still come up with ideas and write down that way. You can couple it with another note-taking app like for instance Notion or Evernote which is more accessible here so you can get the best of both worlds. This is what I do at the moment. I use Notion in order to track my current project but also use Obsidian in order to simply flesh out the main thoughts and being able to have my library that way. On an accessibility Obsidian is simply perfect. Very fast very easy to link, you can create notes on the fly, formatting is the best, and you can pretty much do anything with it. So I totally get now why there is so much enthusiasm around Obsidian, because I converted myself. I use Obsidian now instead of Mem, and it's absolutely amazing. And together with other apps like Notion and Evernote, you can creatively express yourself to the next level.